All right, here's a slightly advanced tutorial on using adjustment layers in Final Cut. You've got adjustment layers in Photoshop, Premiere has them, After Effects has them, but they don't work exactly the same as they do in Final Cut 10. In Final Cut 10, the uh, adjustment layers can also do transform effects, so position, scale, rotation. When you place them on your timeline, anything that you do to this clip will do the same to all clips below it, which is super helpful. So if color grading, you can do like your base adjustment, or if you have interview sections, you can do you can apply your filters to your adjustment layer and it will do it to every clip below for the length of the adjustment layer. As soon as the adjustment layer title ends, all adjustments will end as well. If you don't have an adjustment layer, it doesn't come with Final Cut. It's really just a, as simple as you can make motion title without any text. If you need one, you can go to FX Factory and download the trial version of Add Motion, and there's an adjustment layer in there, and even on the trial version, it's unwatermarked. So you just drag it on, and then anything that you do to the adjustment layer and the transform or any effects that you apply to it will be applied to everything below it. So here I just have a normal, let me shut these off, I have a normal title and uh, it's just static, no effects, nothing nothing applied to it and on my the adjustment layer just above it I have an instance of move so it just slides in nice and then I have a second adjustment layer to do a second move so I've got my title sliding in and a second adjustment layer and say I had another title in there which uh, because it's being affected the title is actually where it originally existed but say I have another version of it in there it moves everything together which is really helpful except for when it comes to backgrounds so say you've got your background in and because an adjustment layer affects everything below it it's also dragging the background around and so to get around that normally what you do is maybe make a compound clip and oh cool that's helpful but now we have to jump in every time and make adjustments and timing wise you're not sure how that's gonna work so that's pretty annoying so instead what we can do is lift it out of the primary storyline and we want it to be above the adjustment layers we don't want it being affected by the instances of move and so to do that we need this to be above the adjustment layers and alright now it's not being affected by these two adjustment layers but that's worthless because now it's covering everything if only there was some way of putting it behind everything. Yes! <laughs> so now if we change the blend mode to behind, instead of it being a foreground mm -hmm. element, it puts it behind everything. So now it's effectively put it under everything or behind and is unaffected by the adjustment layers which is awesome so now if say we put a graphic in as well and let me just pull that down so now we, we can start to stack things and the thumbnail graphic is only being affected by the adjustment layer that's above it and the title is being affected by both of them and the background is unaffected because it's above everything but we have set its blend mode to behind. This is awesome. We're able to now make adjustments on our main timeline. We don't have to jump in and out of compound clips. Super cool. Hope that helps you. Check out Oddmotion on FX Factory. Cake eater. <laughs>